Alright, what's up guys? It's KH Central here, and I'm back with another Countdown Milestone Day thing to Kingdom Hearts 3 video for you guys. I've been doing these on the Major Milestone Days, like 150, two months, stuff like that, and now we're at the next one, and bruh, this is, this is like the last one before we get to the final stretch, man. We are in the final stretch to Kingdom Hearts 3 as of now, and just, whoo, I'm so fucking excited. I know I talk about a lot of the same things in these videos, but I just get so fucking excited, and I want to talk about this stuff in a video, and I just think they're really fun to make, so that's what I'm going to do. And just, I'm actually starting to believe Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out now, and that's the craziest thing about it too, so yeah, let's just get into it. So, as of today, December 29th, 2018, we are officially one month away to Kingdom Hearts 3's release here in North America. It's going to release a little earlier in Japan on 25th, but... For us, it's the month long stretch has started. And oh my fucking god. <laughs> it's actually happening. It's actually happening. It's really hard to believe that it's actually happening. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody say come on! What's the procedure? What's the procedure? <laughs> no, Michael Scott, I refuse to stay calm in this situation. <laughs> oh my god, dude! One month! What the actual shit? This game is actually coming out! What? I'm just, oh my god. I can't explain how excited I am right now. It is hard to contain my fucking excitement right now. Just Jesus Christ. This is, this is amazing, man. This is just so, so amazing to think that we are about to be in the month of Kingdom Hearts 3's release. After all the months that we've been waiting for this game, we only got one more left. And that's just so fucking crazy, dude. dude 31 days, dude. 31 days. We can count the days in our heads. Until the release of Kingdom Hearts 3. That is so strange to think about. It's so fucking weird to think Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be in our hands soon. Because, you know, for the past five and a half years with the development and the announcement of this game, in the past 13 years with speculation for a third number of titles since Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, we've been, you know, in just the state of, oh, it's never going to come out. You know, we've been waiting for so goddamn long. Why don't you just release it? Yada, 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 stuff like that. And it's, that's going to end in one month. We only have a little bit left to think about Kingdom Hearts 3 not being in our hands because it's not going to be the case anymore. And just, man, this, we're almost at the end of this journey. This has been a, such an amazing journey with you guys. I've been on it since day one, you know, ever since Kingdom Hearts 3 got announced on June 10th, 2013. I've been on this fucking ride. I've made this YouTube channel around Kingdom Hearts 3. You know, I've been covering the shit out of this game ever since it was announced. So I've my entire teenage life has revolved around this game. I've covered this game all throughout high school. You know, I've been thinking about this game coming out in my entire teenage life. And it's it's here. It's here, man. And I don't think you understand how excited I am for this game. I don't, probably don't understand how excited you are for this game. But it's actually here. And, bruh, it's, it's, it's insane. But it's kind of bittersweet, too, if you think about it. We're almost at the end of this journey. Yeah, we're almost at the end. We're almost at the final stop on the hype train. It's about to reach its final destination. I've gotten to see this community grow into what it is now because before Kingdom Hearts 3, it wasn't kind of the big mainstream thing that the Kingdom Hearts YouTube thing kind of made it out to be. You know, gamers doing the key keepers, stuff like that. They did so much for this community, man. I can't appreciate them enough. Um, and I was there along with them making YouTube videos and I've just gotten to see this community grow and gotten to see this game grow into what it is today because it was completely different from what was announced back then. It's like night and day pretty much. Um, and I, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, man. I'm so proud of the team over there at Square Enix, the stuff that they were able to do with this game because look at this game. If you don't, if you haven't seen footage in a little bit, just look at it, man. There's a gif going around out there that compares the movie scenes to the the scenes in Kingdom Hearts 3, and they're pretty much identical. You can't tell a difference with them. I mean, you can tell there's some slight differences in lighting and textures and stuff like that, but if you show them to, like, a random person on the street, they tell you it's from the movie. That's... What, how did Square Enix do that? I don't know. They're fucking wizards. Um, and I'm, I'm just so proud of what they were able to do with this game. But, you know, it's just kind of sad to see it go. The hype. Of Kingdom Hearts 3 because I don't think anything's gonna ever match that. Nothing's gonna ever match this experience, this journey that we've made over this past five and a half years. I don't think anything's gonna come close to it because I'm gonna miss the trailers coming out. I'm gonna miss the speculations videos that everyone was making. I'm gonna miss the theory videos. I'm gonna miss the hype videos, you know, talking with all my friends 
about Kingdom Hearts 3, how hyped we are for it, stuff like that. I'm going to miss staying up till 3 o'clock in the morning just to watch one single three-minute trailer of the game because that, that's just a special thing that I don't think anything can match up to. I only have, I only have a little bit left, and I'm, I'm just so happy that I got to be on this experience, man. I'm so happy that I got to see that announcement of that game, watch the E3 press conference, and made this YouTube channel because... It's changed my life in so many fucking ways, man. I'm not the same person who I was before. I am a better person because of this. I've learned a lot of lessons. I used to be an annoying little piece of shit who was mean and didn't know how to interact with people, which is why everyone hated me. Um, but now I'm a different person. It's pretty much night and day with that, too. And it's been such an honor doing this YouTube thing for you guys because it's been the greatest journey with that, too. You know, I never thought I'd be able to talk to thousands of of fellow Kingdom Hearts fans, you know, be watched millions of times, almost 1.5 million times, talking about this game, and uh, uh, just so many other things, to meet so many amazing people, got to interact with so many amazing friends, and, you know, got to see this community grow, stuff like that. It's been amazing. So, it's been an honor doing this with you guys, too. I got to do this, period. I got to have 7,000 subscribers who watch my content and appreciate me for talking about this. I'm just rambling at this point. Um, but yeah, 31 days. Where did the time go? You know, it feels so long, yet so short at the same time. It feels like just yesterday, June 10th, 2013, happened and King Hearts 3 got announced. I appreciate the community for being as passionate as it is and being so supporting and loving and just so like family unit kind of, you know what I mean? And I'm just so appreciative of this whole thing. So yeah. We're in the final stretch, we're in the last little month before the game comes out, and it's going to be glorious, I am pretty damn sure of it. So that's all I want to talk about with you guys in this video, sorry I just rambled there for a little bit, I just went on a little emotional tangent right there, um, but also, tell me down in the comments below what you think about this, how hyped are you for Kingdom Hearts 3, can you describe in words down in the comments below how excited you are for Kingdom Hearts 3, how much has Kingdom Hearts affected you, and you know, are you, is it going to be sad to see this whole thing go? Sad to see this whole thing kind of just disappear? Kingdom Hearts 3 hype? Tell me down in the comments below what you think about this. Also, make sure to subscribe and like this video and follow me on Twitter because that would be really awesome if you did. This has been Cage Central and bye!